Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rarquaza here. Welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain. So, uh, I haven't been doing a lot of single player runs. That's been mostly because there's lots of people now playing this game. And that's, you know, freaking awesome. But, uh, I gotta get some single player runs in. Um, so, believe it or not, I actually have not really... I hadn't unlocked any of the base classes, uh... Okay, so, like, mostly Acrid, right, is one of the first classes that you unlock. Pretty much, because um, he's you know in a fairly easy location, uh, and you know you can get to him pretty easily in your first couple of runs. Maybe uh, if you're a new person, maybe it took a little bit longer, but still, he's going to be one of the the first maybe four or five uh, characters that you unlock. So um, I actually unlocked him in the final beta version before it went it released on Steam. But then I uh, and this this is the same thing with Handy. Uh, which is this robot dude. I unlocked both of them in the, you know, the pre-beta version, and then I just, you know, didn't bother to unlock them uh, once it released, because I was too busy, you know, trying the sniper and the mercenary and playing online and the enforcer, you know, and I... So, you know, let's, uh, let's go back a little bit. These guys are have been around, accurate and handy. Uh, the miner also, but I haven't actually unlocked the miner. I need to, uh, I have probably had the opportunity to do that, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Same, same as them. Um, but anyway, I'm playing accurate. Now, um, before we start here, I do want to get, uh, scores. We're at 81%. We're rounding in on that 100%. Uh, so I need to, we, where, oh, one more. Free the chained creature, did that. Accurate unlocked. So we need to spread 10,000 feet of caustic sludge and spread epidemic to 25 enemies. Okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, we're gonna do that on Monsoon because that's... That's what. Akron's pretty good. So Akron's got this, uh, this attack. This basic attack is this, like, either biting and slashing. It's called Festering Wounds, and it does a DOT effect that, uh, you can see those little, uh, green numbers. They happen over time. Wow, look at all those shrines. That's crazy. Um, and that you can kind of stack those on enemies, which is cool. Then there's this Epidemic, right, which is the fourth skill, and that, uh, is this thing that spreads to enemies. Uh, the stuff that I just laid on the ground is the Caustic Sludge, and that, um, anything that's on top of the Caustic Sludge, um, takes damage and is slowed, except for bosses, of course, because they're, they're immune to certain debuffs, um, and it's pretty good. Um, and then the last skill, the second skill, is the, uh, the Line of Acid, that right there, and that stuns enemies for a second and, uh, knocks everyone back. That sort of thing. Uh, so, Prison Shackles was our first item. That's actually, like, legitimately the single worst item that Acrid can pick up. Because Prison Shackles, the debuff that's applied to enemies uh, via Caustic Sludge, um, see the speed down effect? That's the same exact debuff that uh, hitting someone with the Shackles does, as you can see right there. So, st and stacking the debuffs does not give you any benefit. Um, so as you can see, my basic attacks are gonna it, apply the same debuff, it just replaces, it doesn't, um, uh, it doesn't do anything fancy. And so that, that's why the Prison Shackles are entirely useless. Uh, Bitterroot, that's better. No max health is definitely an, a thing that Acrid wants. Um, now one thing about Acrid, a lot of people like him, and I do too, uh, but the thing is, uh, Acrid's, most of Acrid's skills don't proc items. The, so, like, you know, items that have um, a proc effect where if you hit an enemy with them, then it has a chance to do, you know, X or whatever, such as this uh, Rusty Blade that we just got. Those only proc when uh, you use your basic attack. They don't proc on this, this Caustic Sludge, and they don't, they only sparingly proc on uh, Epidemic. Actually, um, so they only proc on the first two skills. Epidemic is a special case. It'll only proc on an enemy the first time it hits the enemy. It only has the chance to proc on an enemy the first time it hits them, rather. So, um, I mean, it still will proc. It's just uh, with, with the two skills that do the most damage with Hackrid, the uh, Caustic Sludge and the Epidemic, it's not going to proc things like Lifesteal um, or, you know, the Bleed Effect as often as other classes will, especially things like the Commando. The Commando is known for his ability to proc items with his his fast attack rate, so it's like, uh, you know, anyway. Now, um, I do like Acrid. He's a good, he's a good character. I like, I enjoy, um, 
getting him or playing him because he's he's like this he's kind of a range like a gorilla fighter and not like a gorilla even though he walks like a gorilla and kind of is like a lizard gorilla but that aside um i'm gonna go up here and grab this chest uh that aside the gorilla tactics you know you want to oh yeah charge field generator okay hold on i'll talk about that in a second um so he, he wants to you know lay down your acid and use the epidemic and let that kind of whittle enemies down and it's a, actually a very effective strategy even if you're behind on um wow we just failed all of these oh yeah now the snake eyes thanks 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 what a troll this game such a troll zero dollars allows us to teleport instantly which is cool um what was i saying uh yeah so even when you're against enemies that are like kind of you've been wait wasting too much time or whatever on a stage and the enemies are all really overpowered if you can uh get you know with the help of some items and some some luck uh you can actually you know make a make a stand against some of these greater foes by whittling their health down slowly um even in big groups honestly big groups are where acrid truly shines uh, we got this charge field generator. This is the charge field generator. Um, it's, think of it like, uh, what's the item? Uh, God, I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. Ow, ow. Okay, it's time to, it's like barbed wire, that's it. Okay, so think of it like barbed wire, except, uh, whenever, you, it only activates whenever you kill an enemy. Um, but as you continue to kill enemies, it, it increases in size. So, uh... Oh god, I'm gonna die. I need to survive. Run away. Oh my god, I have 24 health. Oh Jesus, I have not enough health for anything in the world. Uh... Yeah. Oh, did I miss with Epidemic? Oh my god! Okay, they all got epidemic I need to chill out in here. Oh, don't kill me! Don't do it. Oh! Okay, I died. Well, that was dumb. Uh, that was my own goddamn fault. I was, uh, focusing on the, you know, not... Not, uh... I was focusing on talking, basically. Um... <laughs> I haven't had nearly enough practice with, uh... Characters like Acrid, Handy, and the Miner. Uh, especially the Miner. That was probably in reverse order. Uh... Like... The miner I have the least experience of the game in the game with. Um, epidemic spreading to the worm segments. That's good. Uh, Akron's pretty good against worms, as long as I don't do you know stupid mistakes like I did last game. <laughs> Uh, that's another thing I actually want to bring up. I know, uh, I've, I've been getting, you know, you might say a lot more popular lately, and that, you know, just judging by, like, subscriber count alone, basically, uh, you know, and, and that's partially because I was one of the first people to have, um, you know, Risk Arena on YouTube, and I do have a lot of ex experience with the game. Uh, some people, you know, they, they like to say, oh man, this guy's the single greatest Risk of Rain player of all time, and you know, while I, I appreciate the compliment, it's a kind of, uh, I will say it's it's a little bit of pressure, and uh, you know, hype notwithstanding, um, it is actually rather difficult, uh, oh shit, to defend that title sometimes, I feel. Um, so just understand that uh, when I make mistakes, I am still human. Uh, I have not played certain classes as much. I, I, uh, but you know, I try my best, and that's that's all I'm gonna do. That's all I can do, man. Um, I know, I know th certain things about this game, and I kind of have developed strategies that allow me to, uh, you know, perhaps increase my odds of winning. Uh, and you know, sometimes that doesn't work out. Sometimes you get screwed. Sometimes you get really good items, you know? It, it's all, uh, it's part of the roguelike genre, you know? I wouldn't be playing this game if it did not offer a challenge. And the game still offers a challenge. The challenge for me is making it to, you know, the end game. 
I, I enjoy this early game uh, play. My my focus revolves around getting to the you know what's touted as God mode, where you're you know basically it's it's before that though. Like I'm I'm mainly focused on the strategies for the short term. Like what should I spend you know my money on which items? Should, should I have bought that that random shop or should I have gotten that health upgrade or you know do I want to play shrines or or not you know I and I have these kind of things that I build up uh, that I built up over time okay I don't have enough for that but uh, yeah so I'm not perfect I am still human but uh, I appreciate you guys support and I'll do my best so and I'll you know kind of impart any any wisdom that I have if if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's make a run happen here. Uh, so we have Leeching Seed, which is a great item, but on Acrid it's going to be a little bit tougher to use just because of the aforementioned uh, proc effect. So this is a good time... Actually, do I have damage numbers on? I think I do, yeah. Um... Like, okay, so I have these healing, you can see the healing above my head. Uh, if I use Epidemic, it'll only hit once on that enemy, that whole time, right? Because, uh, and then if I use the Sludge, it's not going to give me any healing at all. So, that's an important, it, it might be like, it might appear to be a minor, like, difference, but it's actually very, a very important core mechanic that you need to understand uh, to be a successful Acrid player. You have to understand that on, pro on hit items, the proc items, um, aren't going to be uh, as useful, at least, as perhaps with another character. Um, and that's that's a thing for multiplayer too. If acrids in your game are picking up like leeching seeds or rusty blades or anything that has an on-hit chance, then uh, you guys got to re-examine your strategy here, because you're doing it wrong a little bit. And that isn't to say that leeching seed won't save my life. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we got the Magmorm again. Apparently that's just the boss du jour today. Uh, so this backup, backup's actually, you know, I, I say that I don't like it. It's a good item. Um, it does, in fact, uh, pierce every single enemy, which is something that was added actually a while into the beta. I just like to hate on drones a little bit. Drones are okay. I don't like playing with them because they, they require maintenance. It's kind of like an upkeep thing. Um, they also cause quite a bit of lag if you get a bunch of them later on, you know, later stages. So I, I generally try and restrict myself from picking them up for the most part. Uh, uh, and there are definitely exceptions and, you know, the case can be made that you could do all drone runs. And I've tried those before, you know. Uh, this is kind of scary. But, uh, oh, dude. Okay, so. Smart Shopper, excellent. More gold, less problems. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Get epidemic. Oh, yeah, and then Will of the Wisp. Get Will of the Wisp. Uh, there's people in my house making noise. Get out of my house. This is my house. All right. Kill all the things. Kill all the things. Uh, Will the Wisp and other uh, so so because proc items are less effective um, with Acrid. That uh, he really shines with items that uh, you know give you effects that happen when enemies die, such as uh, Will the Wisp. You know things like gasoline. Monster Tooth is the premier healing item, at least in my opinion, for Acrid. Uh, you know because whenever an enemy enemy dies, you get. 10 health or more if you have more monster teeth um, and so that's really really good especially when you're killing uh, enemies so fast you kill like groups of enemies at a time which provide big chunks of healing so that's why a monster tooth is such a good item now I don't have one I would love a monster tooth oh I'm probably gonna go unstable watch this shrine is killing me though Uh, Will the Wisp is another one of those that really helps. Other things like the Ceremonial Dagger are great. Um, this Healing Drone is good. I'm gonna pick that up. We have lots of extra money because of the uh, Smart Shopper. 
So I'm not going to shy away from a health drone, especially when our he healing items are rather limited. Uh, I'll play this one more time. Okay, well, that was a good try. So, uh, I don't remember if there were chests over here. But we're doing okay on time. I should actually activate this as soon as possible. Uh, because freezing time, if you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, has actually paused the countdown timer. Although it's done over now, so it was kind of too late. Um, it freezes the countdown timer. Oh god, it's a missile drone. That's good. Uh, there was nothing up here, as I recall. If I recall correctly. Uh... It freezes the timer, which allows, you know, you to basically make up some time. Uh, Bustling Fungus is good. That's some healing. Should we get ourselves into a sticky situation? Oh! Oh! That is the Proton Jetpack, if you can't see that. Um, so, the Proton Jetpack is this item that I don't think I've got before. Um, well, I have gotten it before. Just not uh, on in the new, like, build. I, I haven't gotten it on Steam, on camera while I'm recording for, uh, you know, my single-player runs. So I'll explain it to you, uh, all those people who don't already know what it does. It is basically uh, this... So you'll see that fuel meter pop up, and I've been using it around here. Uh, it's a jetpack, and you can fly for a short duration. Um, and it's extremely useful for all the circumstances. Basically every single circumstance is what it's useful for. And I'll show you some of the uses, hopefully during this video, if we can, uh, you know, survive. You can fly up when you get teleported, which is pretty neat. Um, it's pretty cool. It's good for dodging, which is uh, an important part of the acrid, uh, you know, strategy here. So I'm gonna check around for the teleporter, of course. Uh, it's important when you're acrid to always use your caustic sludge and your epidemic basically as soon as they come off cooldown if there are any enemies around they will it will allow you to uh, you know deal some some damage kind of weaken enemies just while you're running around which is pretty important uh, okay no teleporter even kill enemies honestly acrid's acrid's very good alive I, I notice a lot of uh, new people have a lot of fun with acrid and you know can get far with Acrid because you know he's he's good at running away and you know kind of using these guerrilla tactics and that's not a bad thing I mean you know you use Epidemic it spreads to everything you use uh, you know the Caustic Sludge it slows down enemies and speeds you up and you know everything gets gets weakened we can summon Acrid himself um, come at me bro he's gonna follow us around uh, this this Acrid actually only the one that comes out of the thing he only has two skills. He has the bite, the festering wounds, and the line attack. Oh, I got him. What you want, buddy? Don't attack my drones. You suck. Uh, so. Teleporter. That is the word of the day. There it is. Good. Another thing that you can do is you can pause the timer while the, uh, <laughs> while the timer is actually counting up, and it will prevent enemy spawns. So, you know, life hacks, I guess. Alright. Um, this line attack is really good when there's a bunch of enemies on, uh, on your sludge and you want to, like, make them stay on your sludge. Or if they're gonna attack you, you know? And you can just hit that line attack and it'll stun them. Knock them back for a second, interrupt their attacks. That's really what it's for. You have to time it so that um, so that you're actually interrupting attacks that would probably hurt you. Uh, Gold-plated bomb, not really my thing. Uh, I have reports that it does tremendous damage, but I haven't really gotten to a comfortable point of testing yet. Um, I took some damage there. That was kind of silly. I wish that we had Monster Tooth right now. That would probably round out my item selection here. Uh, healing is definitely going to be what I'm worried about this run. Well, when isn't it? <laughs> Health is uh, important, you know. Infusion is a great item as well, but, uh, you know, that's... That goes without saying, I suppose. 
Alright, as you can see, we're at almost 120 seconds. So, so far no problems, really. Uh, Epidemic is doing work. Drones are doing work. Uh, Caustic Sludge is doing work. Everything's doing the work. We have a scavenger as a boss. I don't know what happened to Acrid. Maybe he drowned himself. Uh, I don't think I'll pick up that laser drone. Maybe five money later. Let's spread some of the love. Share the love. Taste the rainbow. Acrid is the king of like sexually transmitted diseases. If by sexually you mean via face injection. Not really sure where I'm going with that. I think that was where I went. And I'm done going there, so... That's... that's that. Anyway, we got missiles. This is another example to show you how, uh... How kind of sparsely the, uh, missiles will proc. Just notice, like, the missiles that come from me. Not from my drone, but the ATG missiles. Okay. Well, these... these jerks are just gonna float down here. Complete scumbags. We're going to shoot that at that man. Destroy these men. I would like this man to die, so I'm gonna let the missile drone get him. There we go. Oh, the other guy's over there! Damn it. Uh, another thing to note is that while the line attack does not go through walls, and your basic attack generally doesn't go through walls, maybe thinner walls. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna keep the clock. That is a great item, though. The meteor. That's a tough choice. Oh, we got infusion. Hell yeah. Okay, so while the, uh... You know what? Actually, before this disappears, I will use it once. Just to kill this enemy. So the unstable meteorite, if I haven't explained that before, um, it's gonna summon these, like, blue explosions where the meteors are apparently landing. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, well. Uh... And those do, like, tons of damage, and it's really good against big groups of mobs. But I'm gonna stick with the stopwatch for now. I do like that item a lot. Just FYI. Um... What? Infusion. No, Epidemic, right? Goes through walls. Like, uh, none of the other attacks do. So, that's good. Why am I going over here? There aren't any items. Did I kill Acrid? I did. I am Acrid. I am Skeleton Jelly. I am Skeleton Jelly. Okay, I'm gonna pick up these drones then. Fuck whatever I said before. I'm gonna do this. Uh, okay. You stop jumping around like a ridiculous person. Thank you. He's dead now. On to the next level. Magma Barracks. Okay, so... This should be okay. Um, Acrid's pretty good at this level. I, I would say. The only thing I'm concerned about is, of course, my healing ability. Because we're not going to have a lot of opportunities to heal. So I'm actually going to leave... Any canisters that are on the ground, I'm going to, like, not pick up. Because canisters contain health if you're at low health. I'm not going to pick up those canisters until I'm running for my life. Um, but these flying enemies are really easy to deal with as acrid, you know, just obviously epidemic spreads to everyone in the world. And, uh, yeah. We're going to float above everyone here. Spread some epidemic. Hopefully, uh, find the teleporter here at some point. Oh, I used that canister. I shouldn't have. Let's do this. Come on. We're only at 16 minutes, so this is actually pretty good. Uh, that's a flame drone. Flame drones are annoyingly loud. Oh, I jumped into the lava. Okay, we got a Toxic Beast as our boss here. I think that probably means... We're only on Insane, so that probably means that we won't get the Cremator spawn. 
uh, which is good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill everything on the level. But I'm going to wait to do the Toxic Beast because the Toxic Beast will allow me to, uh, you know, kind of get some infusion going. Oh, spread epidemic to 25 enemies. Hell yeah. Um, so that's done. Now I just need to lay a bunch of Caustic Sludge all for days. Oh, dude, we got a filial imprinting. Awesome. Got a little buddy here. Got to gotta stick together, us, like, you know, crazy monster people. Uh, okay. That probably isn't the most useful item with Acrid, because, you know, he doesn't generally want to run back and grab those buffs, but, you know, it's not a bad thing. For sure. Uh, I prefer it to quite a few items, honestly. Plus it, uh, eventually, you know, uh, oh, there we go, we just got the Caustic Sludge, alright. Roughly the same point there. Um, yeah, we're actually having no problems at all here, so this is good. Uh, yeah. No problems. Gonna pause time. Jump down here. Spread some love. Good. Very good. Oh, yeah. Chaining those kills together. Um, and yeah, we're probably not gonna have any problems here. Okay. Just murder everything in sight, no problem. Was taking a little bit of damage there, but I was also kind of face tanking most of it, so it's not really a big concern. I still do, uh, like, I mean, infusion is the goddamn best item. But I would like some more sort of healing ability, because that, that only gives us max health, which does not actually help us during the in the heat of battle uh, all that much. So I'm going to be looking for something like Monster Tooth. Even one Monster Tooth would uh, be incredibly good right now. Oh yeah, get owned. Alright, so the teleporter is there. I'm gonna grab some items hopefully here. Um, maybe we can get something cool. So that hermit scarf also, I, I neglected, neglected to mention this, but that item, so good. 10% chance to dodge completely an attack every time it hits you. Uh, that's, that's pretty freaking sweet, that's what that is. I highly recommend getting that item. It's just like a passive bonus that can't even be refused. Okay, since there are all these missile drones, might as well go after them. Alright, fire shield, that's good. Fire shield is not an on-hit item, it's a item that procs when uh, enemies hit acrid so that's that's very good one of the reasons that's fire shield is just a great item in general actually um, whenever enemies hit you if you're like in a big giant horde of them you know and like 50 crabs are all eating you at once uh, it's only the, like the first two that hit you will actually hit you um, if you have the fire shield because all the other ones will just be knocked back by the explosion which can save your life in sometimes. I mean, consider the difference of being hit by two crabs and then they all get blasted back and slightly damaged um, versus, like, being hit by all 50 of them and then you just die. So I, I think Fire Shield is one of those items that's just completely underestimated. Uh, I really like it. And actually, it does, it does do decent damage. I think it does, like, 200% uh, of your base damage, so... I mean, that's that's pretty pretty strong, and it can also proc other items, so pretty good. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to check down, even though we'll have to come up because I think this permutation is one that uh, has this right side blocked off, so we won't be able to exit. Oh no, it doesn't. I am wrong. All right. Ooh, put my yawn. I would say that I'm waking up, but I probably am not. 
Maybe I am. I don't know. I've had kind of a sedentary day. Uh, okay. Step one. Epidemic bugs. Bugs need to be whittled down. If... On this level and the Lemurian, any le level where there's flying enemies, basically, that can't be knocked back, you have to focus on them first. I don't care who you are. Um, if they pile up, it'll just get to the point where you're not going to be able to handle anything. You know, just the constant whittling down, you won't have any chance to recover any of your health. Um, okay, stop taking willy-nilly damage. I don't have all the healing in the world. Uh, so, we're going to play this like we mean it. It's very easy to die at any point if you, you know, just play poorly. Like get pooped on by giant lizards. That's never a good idea. Like, When is one point in human history where getting puked on by a giant lizard was considered a good idea? Tell me that. The answer is like, if you're trying to kill yourself. And that isn't very often. More smart shopper. That's excellent. Never have enough... You can never have enough money. Uh, why did I pause there? Probably just to use the cooldown. I probably needed to pause anyway. Uh, one thing that I like doing is doing the acid line immediately followed by Epidemic, because it stuns them, which keeps them off you for a split second, and then you use the Epidemic, which, uh, then, of course, spreads to everyone for massive damage. Another, uh, tip at this, at this stage of the game, jumping and attacking, one of the best strategies. When you jump attack, because when you just attack on the ground, uh, your motion is completely halted while you attack. But if you attack in the air, it actually pulls you forward a little bit, so it's actually speeding you along. Um, and you can dodge attacks easier that way. Alright. We are on ICU difficulty. Which is not bad. You know, we're only 20 minutes into this video. Or 30 minutes, I guess. Got a little bit of uh, time lost, I guess. Oh, I guess I was sitting at the menu for a while, too, so I don't know. But uh, we're only 24 minutes into the game. So I actually, instead of just rushing the final boss, I might try and cycle back to some levels and maybe get some uh, unlocks. Specifically, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. Because I need the miner. What else do I need? Forgot already. Okay, five enemies remaining. We'll see. I might, uh, I don't know. I stick by my we'll see. I really feel like I could use more healing before I go into something that crazy, but, uh... Honestly, I feel fine. Maybe that's just my hubris talking. Alright. Imp Overlord, come on. Imp Overlord, please, come back. No, Imp Overlord. Imp Overlord, please. Silly, silly person. Don't jump off the stage. I want your item. Taking some damage here, I don't really care, honestly. I really just don't. <laughs> so there's only two enemies left, so it's like, why the hell not? Can't stop me. Guardian Heart's a good item. Love that. Alright. Go to the teleporter to advance. I'm actually going to go left for a while. I'll ignore that uh, snow globe. Going to go left for a while and grab some items. 
Okay, you know what? Either of those are fine. Goat Hoof is probably one of the greater items in the game. The movement speed. Movement speed is a huge thing. Especially on Acrid, because the movement speed actually increases the length that we are able to drop Caustic Acid. Pretty cool. Oh, come on. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of getting transfixed by this, uh... Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm high. So high. I'm not actually high. But I feel, uh... Feel a little bit... Feeling it in my face. My face feels. I got the feels. In my face. Oh! Another companion. Alright. Another concussion grenade. Concussion grenade! No! I don't know. Two filial imprinting. Awesome. So that actually creates another uh, dude there, and he's gonna. Now I'm gonna get buffs twice as quickly if you think. If you wanna think about it that way. Alright. All right, I'm uh, I'm probably gonna go one more level, at least, and just see how you know how we're doing. Uh, a to teleport to previous levels. Yeah, let's do that. And then uh, you know, depending on how that go this goes, we'll probably just head on to the end of the game, and you know, see where we are from there. Give me that speed buff. Yeah. Oh, caustic acid for days. <laughs> It ran out before I finished, but still. Oh, another one. Oh yeah, so good. Good for getting across the map. There's some crit glasses. Crit glasses uh, are actually a proc item, believe it or not. Um, when they don't... Oh, Jesus, okay. Wow, we got a speed boost. That, that is the longest goddamn pathway of hatred ever known to man. Actually, I should probably be attacking this dude over here. But we're fine. Everything's going good. I really wish I had Monster Tooth. That would make me a happy person. Ow. I watch these worms, man. They're scary. Alright, so now I'm practicing the tried and true method of uh, surviving things as accurate. The run away, it's called. And, you know, it's working out admirably. Gonna go up this secret ladder. You can actually go up here because of the, the jetpack. So that's pretty cool. Gonna drop some acid. Drop some tabs here. Line attack for the win. Oh, it's starting to starting to get some slowdown, which is cool. That means the shit's getting real. Uh, attack speed is actually kind of useless with Acrid. Like it's not it's not one of his better items. It's, the items are better. The attack speed at least is get better on other classes, I think. Uh, I mean, it does increase his base attack, which I'm using, you know, kind of in midair. But yeah, and it increases the DPS, but. On other classes, I think. It's definitely more effective. Oh yeah, speed boost. What you got, jellyfish? You got nothing. Oh god, actually, kind of painful. You're killing my drone. It's sad. Oh yeah. Well, the wisp is destroying. All right, we're doing good. Oh, I'm s I was hanging on that rope. I was wondering why I couldn't move. Ow, this this guy right here. Fire elite. Look at his fire. 
just his fire. Hurts. Oh, good. They're dropping health. Okay, thank you. The health buff is actually very strong from the filial uh, attachment or whatever. So don't don't discount these little dudes. They uh, provide some very very nice buffs. All right, uh, Lost Doll actually works well in conjunction with um, the Guardian Heart, but I'm not going to take that because I already have a, a pretty good use item. Increased health regen, that's not bad. All right, let's murder the rest of the problem. Oh god, let me just take all this in the face. Oh dude, okay, Ceremonial Dagger. An on-kill effect, a, a purple on-kill effect. It's one of the best in the business. Uh, this item, so good. Yeah, look at all those murder bolts. Yes. I'll just kill everything, that's no problem. Eat nugget. Oh yeah! What? What you got? Ceremonial dagger is so good. I love stacking on kill effects. It's nice. Let's uh, get sticky bombs just for the heck of it. That was really. I probably should have like, if I was playing optimally, I probably would have grabbed the uh, um, crit glasses just because they stack with a lot of things nicely. But you know what? Too bad. I do what I want. I want sticky bombs because it's candy. Delicious, delicious candy. Rusty Jetpack um, interacts strangely with uh, Photon Jetpack, so I'm not too excited about that. But, Or not maybe as excited as I would be normally. I mean, it's still a good item, but... I don't know. Alright, let's just head to the next level now. We got another Goat Hoof. That's pretty cool. Uh, gonna get that canister just because. Gonna pick up this drone just because. And uh, let's go another level. Feeling good about it. 32 minutes. Got some time to burn. Oh, another goat hoof. That's gonna help, actually. Not even sarcastically. That That is going to help. Especially when you consider the other two items that are with it comes the clear choice. Alright, nothing over here. Well, there is actually stuff over here, which is kind of surprising, but not the stuff that uh, I was looking for. Meaning the teleporter. Actually, was it down here? No, that's where I spawned. Okay. Alright, so presumably... We will survive this. I don't I don't really think there's any problems. Or there are going to be any problems here. Unless we get a bunch of wisps and I'm just really stupid. I don't know, we'll see. There's always the chance I could die. Gotta watch out for these parents too. If I let them take start taking advantage of me, it'll go over. It can be over pretty quick. But, uh, we're doing okay. Gonna drop some acid under all these men. Yeah, what you got? Another, uh, trick with accurate if you're having trouble with them, is never... No. Always. Use your use item. I just got an error. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're fine. I kind of maybe stood still a little bit too much there. Oh, fuck. Stop going in the middle. Okay, I'm going to go down here because this is kind of sketchy, actually. Ow. 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 Okay. Okay. Everybody calm the F down. Calm down. Calm down. Worms! What did I just say? I said calm down. That means be calm. Alright. Uh, we're gonna drop some acid. I'm probably gonna be fine as long as I don't screw this up. 
Okay. Kill this worm. Alright, we're gonna be fine. Drop some acid. Do it. Watch the party. Oh yeah, that was a good party. They were they were will of the wisp exploding onto the magma worm. Pretty good. I forgot what my use item is. Oh, it's the clock. That's good. I would actually, with our kind of lack of real good health regen, I would prefer. Oh my god! All oh, the movement speed. A second there. Filial pales. There's gotta be some homestucks who are watching this right now, right? Anyone? No? Maybe. Just murder all these people. Gotta watch out with Acrid when you're doing, you know, tactics like these because the uh, the basic attack pulls you off the edge a little bit, or pulls you forward a little bit, so it can knock you just into, just past the safety range, kind of. All right, we're doing fine. I foresee smooth sailing. Wow, meat nuggets for days. Have fun with that, you guys. Yeah, they had fun with it. Don't do drug skits. Public service announcement. <laughs> okay, stop just tanking this stuff. This is really unnecessary. And only 38 re enemies remaining. That's actually quite a few, but shouldn't be a problem at all. This teleporting quick elite out of my life, I just totally whiffed with that. <laughs> Savings is good. Gonna eat these fuckers. Pardon my French. It's not actually French, it's American. Americanized European language. Murder the heck out of them. You know, actually, honestly speaking right now, I think what's happening to my body is uh, I'm going through puberty. Not really. Probably already that probably already happened. Just a guess. But uh, no. What I was actually gonna say there uh, was this is just kind of relaxing to me, and so I'm sort of uh, you know my muscles are relaxed, so I'm kind of drifting into uh, kind of a lazy sort of meditative state here. And so I'm sorry if I've been quiet for um, a long period of time here. It's just been... This is a meditative game for me. At these upper levels. And maybe that sounds ridiculous, but to me it's not. Random... Okay. More healing. Multiple bustling fungus, especially when you get like three or four. That's really cool. Because you can just stand still for like two seconds and it'll take, you know, a fourth of your health restored. So, don't underestimate the bustle. 
Oh, I should be using this like constantly. I'm totally not playing very good here. Okay, fly up here. Oh, whiff with the epidemic, but it hit something anyway. Lucky me. All right, I'm taking some damage up here. Beginning to remember why I ran away from this spot. Okay. Chill out! Okay, this wisp is really annoying. Draw, <laughs> leave all the path. Ow, and then I got stuck right there, so they clapped on me. Ow, shit. Stop hitting me! Oh my god, time to run. Holy shit, I only have 80 health. I just kept taking stupid hits. Okay. Just take it easy. Oh, I can bustle my fungus. I don't know what I'm doing. No problems. The laser drones being kind of ineffective. Activate my timer again. Keep on spreading the love. few more enemies left. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. Tempted to just tank this guy all the way. Awesome. I'll pick up my drones. Uh, we'll press A to revisit one more level. Hopefully uh, we can unlock maybe a character or something. I'm hoping for... I don't know, we'll see. Ancient Valley, that's not going to allow us to unlock anything, as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't know what this this whole deal is. This was in here... There's a couple different places in the game where you see these kind of, like, faux teleporters, and uh, there's got to be something to them. Got to be. But, no, I don't think anyone's figured anything out yet. We shall see. All right, uh, we'll go one more round after this because the next stage has the potential to unlock us a character. We're moving at a pretty good pace here. I don't think we're gonna ha have any trouble. Uh, that's not why I'm trying to find the teleporter. I just wanna get through this level. Quickly. Uh, so that secret is not there, which is okay. It's fine with me. Gives me the excuse to uh, go a little bit faster. All right, I'm on the entirely wrong side. Missed that uh, middle platform. Been up there, but not this time. Actually, I think uh, last video, the last video that I uploaded. At least the last video that I uploaded by the time this goes up, so it'll probably be just whatever videos before this one, it's Risk of Rain, um, is probably the one where Watsos and I were messing around. The mining video. I think that was the last one. Anyway, we were playing around on that place. Oh, hey, there's the uh, teleporter. Let's go hit it. Ow. I took their stomps in the face. Fine, just watch everything. Oh, another infusion. Okay. Oh my god. There's so many things. Just run! Wow, there's a whole pile! Oh, Jesus. If I had uh, Monster Tooth right now. If only I had Monster Tooth right now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Grab that. Oh, yeah. Get dead. Run, 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 run. Alright, that's good. Oh my god, there's so many enemies here. If I stop for a second, I'm gonna get killed instantly. Oh yeah! Yeah! 
Oh, Jesus. Everything's exploding. Look at all those missiles! Oh my god, my game might crash. There's too much epidemic. Oh. Holy shit. Wow. This is insane. So yeah, this is the upper bound of accurate... Maybe not the, you know, upper bound... Oh, Jesus, I just got clapped on by like 50 golems. Now I need to uh, be sparing with my health for a minute. Let's go up here. <laughs> just heal a little bit. Oh, man. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we're good. Uh, everybody get acided. Three golem or not golems. Oh, Jesus, I'm almost dead again. All these missiles are really not good for me. Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. Wow. Oh, Jesus. There's so many numbers. What the fuck? How many missiles I'm throwing out? You know, I think that ha must have something to do with the epidemic. Um, oh, my God. Two items that I really, really wanted. Uh, infusion. A third infusion is going to allow me to get two extra max health. Or two max health whenever I kill an enemy. Or whenever an enemy dies, which is excellent. So that's the second breakpoint. And then uh, the monster tooth, of course, is going to heal me by 10 every time an enemy dies. So that's awesome. Plus another... Uh, oh, charge field generator as well. Oh my god. And that goat hoof. And more sticky bombs. Not a, not a bad thing. Wow. <laughs> Alright. So as you can see, uh, Akrid is not the greatest of uh, single target DPS characters, but in those giant melee things, he reigns supreme. Not supreme, but he definitely reigns. He's one of the, the royalty of the giant mob group. There's lots of mobs in this game, so it works out well. I will say that the Huntress, I think, can handle at the at least at, when you you know when you're at the point where you have like tons and tons of items, uh, the Huntress is the best for dealing out damage um, in high amounts. She has the I think the most DPS at higher levels of play. Like assuming that every character class had equal items, or like you know a couple of every item in the game, then. Huntress would probably win. Just due to uh, the glaive, glaive chains. Glaive chains are OP. The thing is, getting to that point with uh, the Huntress can sometimes be tricky. But that's the challenge. That's why I like the Huntress, because she's, she's tougher to use early game. Um, what are my... These guys are like jumping in place. What are they doing? Oh, there we go. They fixed themselves. I got gasoline. I was not actually planning on that, but it looks like I did. And gasoline is going to add nicely to our... Oh, I did make it! Ha! <laughs> and then I immediately jumped off. Uh, but gasoline is going to fit nicely into our on-kill item uh, set here. Okay. Activate the teleporter. Maybe if I come down here after all the enemies are dead, I should try that. I have a feeling that that does something. But it probably doesn't do anything. Oh, why did I take that? Honestly, a for another the third leeching seed is not going to really do much for me. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take the Explorer's Key because in this this build I don't actually have the open a golden chest with the Explorer's Key achievement, so I'm gonna go do that. Fireman's Boots! <laughs> Alright, so Fireman's Boots, uh, if you've never seen this before, is an item that you get from uh, like standing in lava for a minute and surviving, and as you can see it just gives you a fire trail, so it's pretty sweet. Oh, we got a Colossus over here. Look at that. Oh, 
Get dead, Colossus. We got three gasoline in the span of like no time at all. Um, I don't remember if there was anything up here. I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, okay. Glad I did then. Oh yeah, and another monster tooth. So now we're getting 15 health each kill. Great. And another shrine. Another bustling fungus, which is going to make us recover health even faster. More smart shopper means that we get more money faster. This is, uh, we're becoming, we're, we're surpassing the power curve now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Alright, do something. Activate. I think it's part, because there's a bunch of these kind of teleporter things strewn across the levels. So there must be something. Something about it. I'm, I'm convinced that there's something. The devs are tricky, they have secrets. $1,001 chest, another photon jetpack, oh my god. So how multiple photon jetpacks work, if you get more than one, uh, it actually just increases the amount of flight time, and that's pretty good. I continued on to the next stage, in case you were wondering. Whee! <laughs> Alright, the hive cluster. This was not the stage that I was hoping for, but you know what? That's fine. Um. Let's find the teleporter first off. Probably just gonna end, go to the next level, or go to the final level after this stage. Here's the bloated survivor. Time to do this. Ow, God, those things hurt. Oh, there's a sni explosive sniper in there. There's a bunch of snipers. That's what's doing all the damage. Okay, maybe we'll just run back and forth here. It's probably the safest plan here. So you'll notice charge field generator just getting larger and larger as we kill enemies here. And then if you don't kill an enemy within a certain amount of time, then uh, it, it disappears. You have to start over. But it's a great item. It doesn't do all that much damage either. It looks like it's doing like 19 damage. 33 damage maybe. Well, actually 104 now? Just looking at the damage numbers. It seems to fluctuate, but uh, maybe it does more damage than I thought. I don't know. We're certainly destroying. It's past the screen now, but you can tell that it's uh, actually still here. Oh, man. Epidemic, what are you doing? Look at all those missiles procs. The procs. All, all the enemies are dead. What happened to them all? It's ridiculous. Alright, yeah, so there... <laughs> it did reset there. That's fine. it going. Don't want to get smacked by these parrots. It still hurts pretty bad. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to get some health back from these enemy kills. Which is good. I'll just hide under here if that's alright with you. Ow. Not alright with him, I guess. The snipers are actually a big problem. They do a lot of damage. Ok, 
Okay, I need to get out of here. Just healing a little bit. Still killing stuff. And now I'm at full health, so that's good. Yeah, get owned. Okay. No items, that's what I was looking for there, but I realized too late that I had spawned over there, so whatever. Time for you to die, Mr. Wisp. Crazy, like, super wisp. Oh yeah, there's multiple snipers here. That was probably what was doing a majority of the damage. Or at least one of the contributing factors, at least. Spitters are pretty nasty. I'm gonna look around a little bit for some items. I think that's fair. Come on. Yeah, tough times. Excellent. That 14% is actually a really big help, help especially combined with uh, our infusion. Makes each of our HP that much more valuable. Oh! Okay, well, you know what? A fourth infusion is not... It, it happens in twos, because each, each additional infusion after the first one only provides you with a half health uh, bonus. So, and it rounds off. It truncates. So, you have to have an, an odd number of um, infusions in order to go up, to increase the max life that you gain from kills. I mean, you still get the life. Uh, we'll take this money. Money is a big thing. Alright, let's get out of here then. I haven't even used this key once. Might as well use it right now. Oh, what now? Hey, we got something, I guess. Got some uh, canisters. It's pretty funny. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, I mean, it's, okay, we're going on to the temple. Because why not? Because I said so. That's why, at least. I don't know about why not. Uh, maybe I should have just gone to the end. I don't know. I don't really... There's not going to really be that many... That big of a threat here, but... Uh, and I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I just pressed it. So complain all you want. It's not getting reversed. It's too late. Getting some bugs. That's fine. The only thing that I think could threaten me right now is if I get to dangerously low health and then just decide to tank it all. Or something, I don't know. See how we're getting two health each kill now, which is pretty sweet. If I can get a bunch of bugs around me, this charge field generator will be excellent. Here's the teleport. Let's just uh, let's stay right here and tank everything. Sounds like a good idea to me. Of course, by tank everything, I, mean, I don't mean just you know stand there and literally just take it. That'd be silly. Oh wow, I actually went to really low health here. Don't stand still against those, uh, the elite dudes that fire eyeball lasers. The temple guards, they do nasty things to you. I have a couple enemies. Just a couple. Oh boy. 
Yeah, standing still is the name of the game that you play if you want to die instantly. So, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, get on. We're going to turn off the damage numbers here, because I can barely see what's going on with all these numbers. Oh, okay, don't die. Uh, ow. I don't like these bugs. They're not allowing me to take a break, really. Wow, we brought the party up with us. Okay, that's just marvelous. Okay, the bugs are dead, mostly. Oh yeah, Imp Overlord Tentacle, now we get another party member. Oh boy. All right. Let's actually uh, calm down a little bit, kind of regain some health. I know that I have this bustling fungus and I'll probably use it here, but uh, let's just go explore for a minute. Take a break, you know. I would open these chests if I didn't think there was going to be a golden chest up here. Because I did this achievement too, like as soon as the final release version. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Bam! Unlock a golden chest with the explorer's key. We got Brilliant Behemoth and the Medi the Ancient Scepter! Upgrade your fourth ability! <gasps> Look, it changed color! Oh. Oh, man. It doesn't... You can't hover over it now. I don't know. What does it do? I'm so excited! We're gonna get Dead Man's Foot here. Dead Man's Foot is a good item. When you take damage, you drop a poison trap. Pretty cool. Oh, my God. Golden Gun 2, that's huge amounts of damage. That's 70% damage right there that we just got in one item. Prison Shackles is entirely useless. Okay, I'm going to Epidemic. It's Supercharged Epidemic. So this item is what's unlocked by beating um, the game with on Monsoon with uh, the Mercenary, which I did my first, or technically second, but it was in the same video. Uh, my second run with the Mercenary on Monsoon. Um... I unlocked that and it upgrades your fourth ability and it's different for every class every class has a different like upgrade thing so it looks like acrids I'll do to turn purple so it's it's like a super I don't know I don't know what it did maybe uh, I guess it's good against multiple enemies so we'll, we'll wait till we uh, we see maybe it does more damage it might have a lower cooldown a little bit maybe it's a higher cooldown actually I don't know yeah, I can't I can't really say for sure um, on certain other classes, I've seen it on the Bandit and the, and the Commando now, and now Acrid. This is the first time I've seen it on Acrid. Um, so, I don't know what it exactly does yet. I'm assuming it just makes it better, though, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. I mean, Epidemic is already one of Acrid's better skills. So, that's cool that, uh, that gets buffed. Also, we got Brilliant Behemoth, which is pretty good. Okay, this, this man, you're being ridiculous. Stop it. Yeah, stay up there. There we go. Let's mop up the rest of these fools. Oh god, ow, I just stood there and tanked that, which I shouldn't have done. 
Don't tank the Elder Lemurians and don't tank the the guards. It's just generally a bad idea. They do hurt a lot. Alright, everything's dead. Let's go get some items. I'll take 56 Leaf Clover. That's great. That'll give me a chance to uh, get an item whenever an elite dies. Um, I am going to go to the final level, though. I think that is what I'm going to do. Definitely. I don't remember if there were any chests in here. Looks like not. Yeah, unfortunately. Purple in, in, uh, uh, epidemic. I guess they made it a virus this time. Instead of a bacteria, perhaps. You, you will soon learn to leave it. Or you will soon leave. I don't know. Anyway, teleport to the final level here. It's about goddamn time. I'm gonna level up. That's cool. I don't have War Banner, which is kind of crazy to me. But, you know, whatever. Final stage. Here we go. I wonder if I can get up there. Probably not. I don't think I have enough. No, not, not really. Let's uh, just go this way. Um, I think I'm going to be able to unlock a new character, though. Hand E appears to be right here. Press A to inspect. Found the robot janitor. Handy's like, what? I was sleeping. What are you, what are you saying? All right, we'll activate this. I spread some infection. I'm not really concerned about the enemies. Infection can feel free to do its work. I don't know why enemies are exploding into gold. Um, go over here. Oh yeah! Brilliant behemoth times two. So this is a secret, by the way. Shh, don't tell anybody. But that's how you get in there. Which is pretty cool. Good to know, you know. Good to know, you know. You know? Do you know? I know, I know. I know. Oh, we also got this 56 leaf clover and that spike strips. Which I'm not going to pick up. Alright, starting to get a little bit of slowdown here. That's fine. I don't have any money though, because I haven't been killing anything. Wait, does this door. Oh, I didn't activate it. Okay, hold on. Here we go. This door just opens like that. Drop some acid. Hit this uh, door down here. I have 15 seconds until um, the key comes off cooldown, which is good. I'm going to use it like right here. another infusion. Wow, so now we get like three um, life per kill. 
pretty legit. face tank things here. Although, I do like what's happening here. Lots of death going on. Oh boy. I think we're dying. I hope I don't crash. That would be bad. I'm not really interested in uh, the buddy. Inflatable buddy. Or actually, oh, there's a smart shop over here. Yeah, yes. How many of those do we have now? Like, uh, a bunch. Five? Wow. That's, that's a few. Getting some amount of money here. Oh god, I just did that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Alright. Uh, let's activate this teleporter. Or not this teleporter, this door. We'll get another friend to follow us around, that's cool. Timekeeper secret. I think uh, multiple timekeeper secrets actually just increase the uh, the duration. Or no, no, no. Yay. They decrease the cooldown of the item. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Get up here, wait till that recharges. And fly up here, wee! Oh, there's a speed thing. So this right here, this is a thing. Another potential secret. Not quite sure what it what it means. Maybe you need to get like some item on an earlier stage and put it there, or I don't know, man. Uh, open this door. Let me in. Thank you. Got another key card. Cool. I'll take a soldier syringe. We don't have any uh, attack speed increase really yet. Even though we do have uh, three um, energy cells. Energy cells only work when you're at low health, though, so I don't, I don't like them that much. There's a lot of things going on up here. Maybe we should kill some things. Boxing glove, give us some knockback. That's cool. Look at all these lighted. Oh god, there's so many of them. Just want them all to die. Not too much to ask. Oh god. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Let's just keep going. There's not really any need to get too tricky with things here. Hold box. That's cool. Oh, an error. It's not good. I'm going to use...
use my key right here. Open everything in the world. Oh my god, look at that. So many heal heals. Can we get up here? Yeah, we can. Awesome. This is another way to get in here. Um, if you don't have a key card. Although getting out... Well, no, getting out of this one isn't a problem. You don't even have to use a key card for it. Um, because there's this ladder here and you can just jump out. However, if you go up here, that's when you start to break some stuff. How many key cards do I have? Do I have two? Okay, that's all I need. Uh... Actually, you'll need one to get back out, but uh, I'm not going to go for the Gauss Cannon this time. Wow, look at all those chests. Usually those chests don't give me anything, though, so it's kind of like a mixed bag. Uh, so, if you jump off here, there's the boss room. Jump off here. And then buy all these things. Including the useless prison shackles. You get in here. See how that works? Isn't that cool? I certainly like it. Alright. Let's, uh... Maybe I should have activated the final teleport before I do that. The thing is, if you don't get a key card before then, then you'll have to farm one while you're in here, which is kind of sucky. But, you know... Okay, I'm going to activate the tele the uh, door here so that we can continue on with our lives. More sticky bombs, cool. Alright. And then while that's going... I'm just going to sneak down here. Activate the med bay. all your heals. Give me this crowbar too. Crowbar's good. Grab this thing. I don't really want prescriptions. What is this hole for? I guess you might actually be able to get in and out of this area for free too. Through that hole in the ceiling. Where do you come out though? gonna screw me. Oh, you can drop off. Haha, <laughs> look at you behind the glass. Oh, whoa. Oh god, that's crazy. There's no floor there. It's lies. The floor is lava. Alright, the door's open. Let's fight this boss. Boss battle time. Another Hermit Scarf, wow. We have a pretty good chance to completely dodge attacks. Alright, all you guys, come in here. Join me on the dark side. happening here. So much stuff happening. So many lighted enemies. Wow. It's crazy. Come follow me in here, guys. It's gonna be a party. You're invited. You're all here. Die! Ha ha ha! Okay. Hey, one of them dropped a crit glass. That's nice. Okay, Providence. Let's do this. 
I wonder what happens if I use the uh, the key to try and open this nano chest that makes use items. I'm actually doing very significant damage just with my uh, basic attack here. Now we wait till Providence figures out his issues with blocking damage. He's going to shield up again in a second. I think it's every, like, quarter of his health that he must shield. Ow, that kind of hurts. I can heal with Bustling Fungus. Wow. Providence, why are you so bad at this game? Oh no, my drone. Actually, let's turn on the damage numbers, why not? Video... Now that everything's not going to hell, kind of see what's going on here. Oh, he's dead. Here we go. Gilded worms. Yeah. Okay, super scepter boosted epidemic. Oh god, it's tearing him apart. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, well, they're gonna die. They're dead. Okay, good. I used it. It didn't. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just got like all the segments worth of HP. That's crazy. I don't think I've seen that before. From Monster Tooth. That's silly. Okay, I need to stop getting hit by things for a minute. Actually gonna go up here and use this. Thank you, mid thing. Culto station. Oh god. Blighted Providence skull shots. So scary. Let's go up here, come on. Use the key on nothing. That was pretty good. Pro skill usage there. Oh my god, I'm moving so fast.
Now, I will say that Accurate is not the greatest single target DPS character. Especially at the level that we're at. Like, you'd need a lot more items before he started being able to kill really fast one person. It's the groups that he's good at, so... Alright, come on, die. Yeah! Get owned. I decided to tank a few shots there in order to kill him. We're healed. Let's do this. Good game! Thank you guys for watching. And so it, le it left with a new hunger to be left alone. Oh, wow. That's, uh... It's kind of... He gets, like, the, uh, the ending that's kind of actually sort of moral. It's the only happy ending, sort of, maybe. Sad, though. It's the happy sad ending. That's too bad. Poor Acrid. He's now even more of a monster than he was. He's the Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster, rather, of this, uh... This story. Oh well, thank you, all you people. It's been fun. Uh, we're gonna look at what items we got here. We got... Handy, we got the this guy, we got this thing, and we got that. So that's cool. I know what all those are, of course, but uh, yeah, most stages beaten in a row 10, at least in uh, single player. Oh, you know what? We had a lot of monster teeth. No, we didn't. We only had two. That's I wonder what that unlocks. Got almost all of them on that page, though. That's cool. And we got all of Acrid's things, so that's good. Just need this thing, we need to do some enforcer, some huntress without taking damage, and handy. Now we found the robot janitor, we can do that, probably do that next episode, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video, uh, subscribe if you have not already, and, uh, you know, just generally stay, stay frosty, my friends. Stay thirsty, I guess. Uh, that makes no sense. I'm not selling beer or any liquids, so staying thirsty has no point. Go drink water. Stay hydrated, damn it. Um, but yeah. Tell your friends. Come watch this video. Anyway. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.